We do have many phone calls. We're going to try to get to as many as we can. Governor Deval Patrick is here. He awaits your calls. We're going to go right to calls. Uh, more calls right after this break. When news breaks, but choice is clear. WBZ News Radio 10. Checking in to give everyone an update on uh, some great news with me over the last couple of weeks and uh, related to activism and the work that I do. Um, number one piece of news is uh, Worcester Mag, WorcesterMag.com. Great uh, story on medical marijuana ballot initiative in Massachusetts with some excellent quotes for myself uh, related to medical marijuana as well as the marijuana legalization movement. I did have a lot to say, uh, a few great quotes. I wish there were actually a few more, but uh, I was very happy with it. Wistomag.com. Check that out. Um, also, uh, got uh, great news last night. I finally, something I've been working on for like five years finally happened. I got the governor of Massachusetts on the radio. I got to ask him questions related to medical marijuana and marijuana legalization. It was an excellent, excellent phone call. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to hear it, actually. I haven't heard it. You know, I obviously participated in the call, but I, I can't wait to listen back to the audio. Um, it was on WBZ Radio, the number one news station in Boston, news radio station uh, owned by CBS News. Uh, CBS Radio. It will hopefully be out on uh, WBZ uh, website later today on the Dan Ray uh, page. You'll, you'll you'll be able to find that. I'll also uh, link it up and, and rip it to YouTube so everyone can hear it. Uh, it was a very interesting conversation. The governor started asking me questions about the medical marijuana initiative. He quoted uh, conservative William Buckley uh, related to marijuana legalization and the point that I was making. It was very interesting. I'm very excited about it. Um, uh, I just got to give a big shout out to Diane Russell, Main State Rep, because she's uh, she's been putting it out there that uh, progress is better than you know progress is better is what we're going to get now. Perfection right now, and uh, she's been really moving the ball. And I, and I and I really like working with Diane Russell, Main State Rep Diane Russell, who's a Democrat. Um, I, I think working with her has really helped me approach some of these politicians like the governor of Massachusetts who last night said some great things about medical marijuana that he would not uh, try to try to try to invalidate it after it wins at the initiative uh, by the ballot initiative he also um, seemed to be interested in maybe even looking at legalization so great news you know I'm very happy I can't wait to give everyone this audio so they can hear the phone call um, also you know more news that I got uh, you know, this this last couple of weeks is you know I'm, I'm speaking at the Freedom Rally this year. Really looking forward to that Saturday, September fifteenth. You know where it is, Boston Common, uh, high noon. It's going to be a crazy event, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. The Mass Can Normal Boston Freedom Rally, very exciting. I think uh, Barney Frank's coming this year. Jody Emery, uh, I'm I'm psyched. I'm glad that it's the tradition continues, even though I'm no longer you know a part of organizing it it's great to see it going on and it's great to be invited to speak this year at the event so i'm, I'm excited about that um i also got this great new t-shirt it was just sent to me as you can see i don't know if you can see it that well but uh, we'll put some pictures of it it's the one and only peter mcwilliams i got a nice t-shirt today so it's been a great week and uh to top it off you know some of you know that we have a big event tomorrow night at the middle east in cambridge um with a lot of great bands, Straight Angler, Solo Sex, Hooker Clops, and uh, Little War Twins. I cannot wait. Unregular Radio, Two Hot Heads, uh, where activism happens. Our radio show is is uh, putting this big event on. We're giving a Vapor Brothers Vaporizer. Um, it's just going to be an amazing night. Free Mass Media will be covering it. KOP Productions will be there. The King of Pot and I will be on stage together. Relief Magazine, Mass Bites. It's just going to be a great night. So many good people coming out, and I just cannot wait. We're going to give so much stuff away, too. So tons of T-shirts, all kinds of uh, smoke and accessories. The King of Pot's going to bring out some special things to give out to the audience. T-shirts, 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 and the vaporizer. Someone is going to actually walk out of that show on Friday night with a Vapor Brothers vaporizer. So it's going to be an amazing night on Friday night. I'm so excited about uh, what we're doing with our activism, the group of people that I'm working with. Um, I'm also happy about the end the Fed stuff that we're doing with Garrett Kirkland. Things are just going really well, and I'm really happy, and I just wanted to uh, give everyone up an update on why I'm so excited this week. Oh, and I also wanted to, uh, I got this book a while back, 
you might have heard me talk about it. It's uh, Peter McWilliams. Since I got the shirt, I wanted to talk about the book um, and read just a you know a quick quote. Maybe you know give give people just just a little bit you know because there's a lot in this book and it's about loss and love and kind of moving on and accepting if uh, someone doesn't love you you know sometimes you have to just move on and and, and uh, I just wanted to read you know you can see this book has every page has sometimes they're long little poems and sometimes they're short ones and this is one of the shortest ones but I think it's it's one that really touches me and uh, it's just the way I feel lately and I just wanted to share it with everyone this is Peter McWilliams writing God loves our love remember, remember that God loves our love and uh, that's that's what I'm doing and ever since I started doing that all good things are happening so I want to thank everyone that I've been working with and uh, all the support I get on regular radio the king of pot Carmelita especially Nikki Smokes Garrett Kirkland everybody Derek Frary so many people I, I, I miss them all but you know just a lot of good people that we're working with and I really appreciate it and uh, want to thank everyone See you at the Middle East, hopefully, or on regular radio, or on Facebook, or wherever I talk and meet up with you. But uh, see you all later, soon. Watch never stops. Let's go back right to the phones. I'm sorry. Mike in Cambridge, uh, you've been very patient, my friend. I'm going to ask you to be as direct uh, and as uh, polite to the governor as you will be. Hey, Mike. Hi, Governor. Hi, How are uh, you? Ken Ray. Hi, I'm, Mike. Uh, I'm I'm calling you know, about actually I just want to comment on Melissa's bill. I'm glad to yeah. see that uh, drug reform, the mandatory minimums, if if this doesn't get passed, is included. Mm-hmm. I'm happy on that. And I, I'm asking about another thing I've been pushing and working on for a long time. Another law, and it's medical marijuana. Mm. The ballot initiative. I want to know if you know Governor Patrick, if you would come out and support this. Number one, mm-hmm. it's on the ballot this fall, right, Mike? I think it is, yeah, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. And whether or not. After the fact, whether you will, other governors in other states, Chris Christie has kind of blocked the New Jersey medical marijuana bill. And mm-hmm. I want to know if you will implement this once it is passed, because I'm pretty confident it's going to pass. Well, you have, you two, you it, have two questions You think there. it will, Mike? Yeah. Mike? I, I'm sorry, you, what was that? You think it will pass? I, I absolutely do. Why, do you, why do you think it will pass? It's polling at like 70%. Is it really? There's no, no, more, no issue more popular in this state. Really? And yeah, you know, just like decrim, it was sixty-five, thirty-five. I mean, that's a forty-point spread. Do you think it gets limited to medical uses, or do you think it's it's the start of something else? Um, I hope it's the start of something yeah. else. I'm a medical patient, but I, I I feel like the the medical just having a medical does make create a little bit of a problem, and yeah. I think it needs to be legalized completely across the board. Um, what yeah. you talk about the mandatory minimums, we turn kids into drug dealers. We're mm. trying to reduce drug use but mm. the kids are the ones selling the drugs selling i the think box. it was i think it was uh william f buckley jr a famous conservative who said that uh, if you want to deal with the drug problem um take the profit out of it and his point was legalize uh legalized drugs. so i assume you would, I, you would endorse medical marijuana no i'm not endorsing it i'm not expressing a point of view um and I'm not dodging it. It's just I I got so much else I'm working okay, on. If it passes, will you enforce it? Well, I you know that's the that's I think what we're supposed to do. Good enough. All right, Mike. There's your answers. Thank All you right, much. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you, Mike. Soon. Good night. Let me go to Wayne and Brock.